Hey, Stevie. Hey, Kimmy. What are we doing today? Today, we're not sure. We're at the resort. We're just going to kind of play it by ear and see what the day brings. We're going to go over to breakfast and have a big breakfast. And then after that, we're going to just kind of go and take some pictures around the resort because it's 44 acres. And, and we have barely scratched the surface so far. And I want to go snorkeling the lagoon again. Yep. That was fun. And... Okay, so there's our hut, 120, and there's our bicycles, and we're going to do a little more tour of the grounds. Okay, that's what we go down every day to go to our thing, and I'm going to take you around this path down here, and it goes to the Lagoon restaurant and check-in, and I'm going to show you that. This is the path that we take every day. 44 acres and you have to have a bike or you can walk or you can use the golf cart. You can call them and they'll come pick you up. That is a little kid area. Here is the Lagoon restaurant that we went to the other night. And bar 727. The Lagoon is a French restaurant. It sets over the water. Look at all those fish down there, Stevie. And the deck bar, which is, like I say, is the 727 bar. This is the place to come to watch sunsets. They have the glass floor all throughout the deck so you can see fish down below you. Ooh, ooh. Sunset sets back behind the mountains every evening. Say the restaurant extends out over the water. Inside the restaurant, you have a glass floor throughout as well. So you can see the fish underneath. Look, there is our hut right down there. The very end. You hang out with us? Yeah, because we can see this, yeah, can't we? We can. So we're second from the end. Mm hmm. Ride on the boat. This is where you're greeted with your butlers. There's the St. Regents. And here goes Diana. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hello. How are you? Hey, I'll Good. get you on video. You're on video. <laughs> Out of the reception area, and if you go to the right, that leads you down to the pearl shop, the little gift shop, and all of the restaurants. And this is the Robert Juan Black Pearl Shop, which French Polynesia, Polynesian area, are well known for the black pearls. And you've got just a little. Do we want to go into the gift sure. shop a little bit? Oh, look at this one. That's so pretty. Yeah, and we, and we've got a little shop that has just some food items. I'll just show you this. Hello. 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 H
Okay, is this the grocery items? Food items. No, no alcohol for sale when they get shot. Yeah, no alcohol. What do you got? So can't bring your own alcohol. Gift. Oh look at there's a picture I want right yeah. there. Oh yeah. Souvenirs. Nine ninety for the festive bobble. This one's twenty nine thirty, so for a kitty ring. Could have got a big pool for seventy five dollars. Put it on your deck, yeah. Yeah. Candles. Soaps. I can oh this is cool. Oh yeah, those are pretty. Maybe this is what we need for our oh, yeah. Christmas glory. It says cool. bore bore it says on bore, it. Oh and then these are cooking salts. Oh, that's so. That's what I got yeah, that's what she gave after you going the to the, restaurant. the the lagoon restaurant. Swimsuit, flip flops, little hats, just your typical resort wear type stuff. How's these kids? It looks like this. Seventy dollar T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, hats. No. Pretty cool. <laughs> Spirit jersey. See, I like that spirit That's, jersey. I, mean, I, only had, I only got like that for men. So the hint here is usually you go over two decimal points. It's not exact. Yeah. But when it says four thousand four hundred ninety, it's usually around forty-four dollars. Forty-five dollars. Forty-four ninety. Yeah. yeah so. so. Okay. So, From the gift shop, you keep walking down the boardwalk and then start into the restaurants. Yeah, so it which is La and Bamboo Restaurants. Bamboo is Asian and La Frente is Italian. And they're both here. They kind of, I think, share this area. I think. I'm not. Here's. Oh, no. Here's it. Uh, oh, okay. Here's Bam. So this is Fon Nuevo. Is it? Am I saying it? I thought it was. Well, I know. Uh, we'll have to we'll look that up. Look and then that up. Bamboo. bamboo sushi walk. Oh, it's good. Tepignac. And right off of the restaurants, the Bamboo and the Parniente restaurant is the main pool. Isn't that just beautiful? That's good. And then as you continue walking, you come down into the uh, bar restaurant area, which is called. Well, restaurant oh, area. no, 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 I'm this sorry. Is the this, is, this is the breakfast meat, which is the tapahu. Tapahu. And, uh, and then if you turn next to, to the tapahu restaurant, tapahu is for breakfast buffet, and then they also do the Wednesday night dinner and have the Polynesian night at the tapahu. And then adjacent to it is the bar restaurant which is right off the beach called the Aparima. I think I've been saying that wrong. Aparima Bar. Aparima. And it's right on the, it looks out over the beach and then on one side you have a bar that has uh, you can swim up bar from the pool. Oh, they do have a few seats here camping. Yeah they do. So the pool area. You've got a few chairs around it. This is the main pool area. And then you get the swim up bar. Then uh, you have the, the beach hut right over here, which is where you get towels, snorkel equipment, things like that. I think we already talked about that once. You got, uh, and then right behind it is showers to wash your feet off. When you come up from the beach, you wash the salt off, and then there's bathrooms behind it as well. Park your bike. And this is the bike area. If you ever have any problems with your bike, there's a bike doctor here that can and fix your bike. And then I already bike. showed the, the beach. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And then we're back on our bikes. And that's the view. And we're back on our bikes. Let's go. That's private property over there. 
you don't go over there, they said. And this is a hill that I'm trying to get up on my bike. today oh the gym the gym is closed today and that's probably why there's test courts that's the gym here I get a picture from you behind. Hey. Then, here's the lagoon. Here we are. There's Kim. She's become very adept at riding a bicycle again. I think she's only crashed once. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe that was me. Now we're gonna go. Here's the lagoon area again. Side of the spa. Well, that's actually the front of the spa. Oh no. Crap. <laughs> Drop yeah. off. Oh, when you hit it? Yeah. Okay, so Steve, did you have a wreck? I had a wreck. Uh -huh. It's all on video, documented. <laughs> See that Maybe drop off? A few choice words, but <laughs> it'll be okay. I know, it's hard filming and. We may have to. We have to rate this video PG-13. Here's one of the docks too. The, the, there's the big fish. See it? Napoleon. Do you see that big old fish up here? Damn it. So there's that other dock down on the lagoon. There's this far dock. There's all the fish down here in the lagoon. You saw a big Napoleon fish. And then right across that bridge, that's the spa. And up around the Good morning. It's day three in Bora Bora. We have a full day planned, which we'll tell you more in just a little bit. It's about almost 5.30 in the morning. We're up early again because of the time change. But, I mean... This is our view. Isn't it beautiful? Um, this is day three, and Steve's talked me into going on a excursion with the sharks. We're going to go sh snorkeling with There's sharks. Sharks and stingrays. This is supposedly one of the top things to do when you're in Bora Bora. You get to go out. It's a full day cruise from nine to three. We get to go out and sh swim with sharks. Then we have a private lunch on a little private motu or island. And then you swim with stingrays and then you're back uh, around three o'clock in the afternoon. So we're looking forward to it and hopefully we survive. Well there, it's deeper, huh? And you can see all the different colors you got in the wall here. Then on the right yes. side, you got a beautiful view of the two highest mountains of the island. Oh, there's a the better view of Otemanu, the square one, and the point on the left that is Paia. Paia on the left, Otemanu on the right.
wide, the rib is not going straight down as a wall. You're going slow and slower down. That's why you can still see the bottom, right? Compared to the south side of Boro Boro, the south side, the reef is like the barrier, then straight down as a wall. Compared to this here, you can still see the bottom here. Because the reef is going slower and slower down, right? And you can see how lucky we are to have that very reef. It really protect the island about big waves, eh? Today is okay, sometimes you get about swells of but different water. When you'll be in the water, uh, only one rule when you'll be in the water, please do not touch them, eh? Okay. Don't touch sharks. Mm -hmm. Then when you'll be in the water, you will feel in the water there's some little current going that way, eh? But I do not go too far away, just stay next to the boat. I remind you the boat got an outrigger, eh? So you can also hang on the outrigger or sit on the outrigger. Yeah. <laughs> so I believe that the place yeah. going like this, yeah. and you hold like this, 
Hello. Here, guys, we have a beef here, guys. Huh? Yeah, yeah. This is a beef very good for you to eat in it. Okay, you love barbecue? Yeah. yeah. You love also barbecue. Sweet <laughs> <laughs> fish. fish? Yeah. Today is um, a mecca family with a uh, white tuna. Okay. We like it. Okay. Yes! yes. 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 Chicken. Oh. Chicken. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. It's beautiful. Yeah. I think you know this. Yeah. Okay. This one. It's a sweet potato. Okay. It's like a sweet potato. And we have uh, taro roots, taro roots going same families. And then have the breadfruits right here. Okay. Breadfruit is very good to eat. This is our bread before. That one we have ipo. Ipo is going like a, a coconut bread. Okay. So we cook it with the flour, sugar, mm -hmm. and the coconut flake, and coconut milk. Okay. This one, oh, oh, this one, oh my god. You wanna eat that? You don't want to leave land after that. So this, this one we call it poe. Poe. In my language, we say poe. It's a banana pudding. Okay. Make sure your banana pudding mixed with the coconut milk. Okay. Very fresh. That one? Fruit. Yep. Fruit. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. yellow one, you know how we call this? Pineapple? Mm -hmm. yeah. How about the red one? Watermelon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how about the green one? Uh, not for sure. Yeah. Grapefruits. Oh, is it grapefruit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, take your plate okay. and some steel over there. I did not want to do this. I did not <laughs> want to do this, but it was the best thing I ever done in my life so far. I think yeah. pretty close. Yeah. Well, we uh, we had always we'd watched a lot of YouTube videos about Bora Bora before we came, and one of the must do things that everybody said was go swim with the stingrays and the sharks. And Kim yeah. has a huge fear of sharks. I'm not real crazy about them myself, but they're. But we signed up and we went, and like Kim said, it was awesome. amazing. You, uh, they're they're small black tip reef sharks, which they're about four to five foot, but they're very good around people, and uh, they're 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 actually more afraid of people than we are afraid of them, and. They would get kind of close, but not too close. Away. But and they do, while you're swimming, sometimes come up right behind you or underneath you and just shock the hell out of you. It's but, like, oh my God, there's a shark. And there's tons of them. Yeah, there you, is not just one or two. There are tons yeah, you of go, them. You actually go outside of the protected reef out into the, into the ocean here in Bora Bora, and the water's probably about 30 to 40 feet deep. And it's so clear. I mean, you can see hundreds and hundreds of yards all the way to the bottom. And they, uh, these sharks just come in bunches. And, you know, you, there could be 30, 40, 50 at a time, just all swimming around. Because there's, there's several boats out in the area at the same time. And they're the water's actually... water's about 30 feet deep. Yeah, about and they're, feet. they're actually throwing some chum in the water to get them. And, and uh, they, get, they get pretty crazy, and that's when they'll come up. But... Uh, Felt really completely safe once you got in. Just got over that initial fear of getting in the water. It, it really is. It, it's exciting, you know, because that's not something I thought I'd ever do in my life was swim with any type of shark and on you, purpose. Uh, um, you probably seen the video. So we got up and had to be over at the dock at St. Regis. So you just had a quick little walk, or we rode yeah. our bikes over there and yeah. just parked our bikes. You get on a type of boat that is it's got the outrigger it's a little it's a motorized boat but it's got an outrigger and a little netting off to the one side really cool so it boat. looks kind of very french polynesian and then we go over and we stop like three different places we stopped at a first place where you can stand and you'll see that in the video and they'll bring up stingrays yeah there's there's a few stingrays and they're very the the, the stingrays are almost domesticated in this area it's because like they, they just they just yeah. are so used to people and then there's a few sharks that show up there and yeah. you're thinking what the heck you know and then you get back oh, in the boat deeper. over to the deep so you, they take you all the around all the way around Bora Bora the main island in their lagoon and so then we go out to the deep area, it's about 
outside the reef, the protective reef around Bora Bora, go outside that to, to swim with the black tip sharks. Yeah. sharks. They do and provide towels, so you don't have to have your own towels. Uh, we brought sunscreen, you want your sunscreen, lots of sunscreen or swim shirt. And then when you're snorkeling with the sharks, they don't give you flippers at that time yeah. because, you know, they, they, but there is a current. Yeah, there is <laughs> out a, out there. it's a pretty strong current, so you got to be careful. And they, they recommend that you stay fairly close to the boat and don't venture too far out. So. And then we went to, we got back in the boat and we went over to the Coral Gardens, which was amazing, incredible. Amazing. I mean, we have snorkeled in the Caribbean and Hawaii, uh, different places. I've never and seen coral like this. We had never seen coral like this. Just unbelievably, it's it's healthy. It's it's there's so much color to it, so yeah. many different formations, and uh, you have to be very and, careful. Uh, it's it's it's, yeah. it's amazing. I mean, I I know the the video probably won't do it justice, mm -hmm. but we're gonna do it anyway. And then you get back in the boat, and they take you to their own little uh, motu motu. It's own little private motu, and they serve you uh, a good lunch, a really delicious lunch. I'm hoping I got it on video. I'm not for sure. You might already seen it, right. but they do out the spread, and you have the uh, plates that's made out of the palm leaves and everything, and it's set on picnic tables, and while you're sitting there eating, uh, puffer fish come up, your, stingrays your come up. Your feet are in the water, actually, while you're eating, and and so, but like I say, it's a very, just a traditional Polynesian as they called it, barbecue. And uh, then they take you to the back of the motu and the shaded area, and they show you all the things about coconuts and how to make the plates with palm leaves, and they kind of give you a history. And they give you a history all while you're going around the island, yeah. too. So it, if you're going to do a tour, do that one. All in all, it was a great, it's a full day tour. Uh, full you day. leave around 9, you get back around 3, 3.30. And but it's definitely worthwhile. It, and um, do you remember the cost? Uh, the cost it was uh, was all, it was forty two thousand French francs, which roughly is about four hundred and twenty dollars U.S. for but for two. But like I say, you get a full a full day plus a lunch plus stops at three different places. So it felt like for the for the price, the value was there. Then we got back and we were exhausted. It, you're getting in and out of the boat, you're snorkeling, you're in a current sometimes. Oh, but they have and the bar, you can order room service for the exact same food. So yeah. we got back, took showers, and just stayed in and did room service. Um, and then went to bed early. Yeah. It was awesome. Around 7 30, 8 o'clock. So, <laughs> but, but it was a really good great day. day. I, I didn't think I would like to swim with the sharks, but I, I, I just can't get over how beautiful they are. Yeah.